Uh, yep. We are on. You are on. Go Hi, ahead. Dave. Take it away. How you doing? Video. Not real well. Not real well. What I, is it? I, I, what do we got? I don't have any. I don't have any gym shorts. I forgot gym shorts. I didn't get my workout. Do you want us to make a plea to the listening audience uh, to many, FedEx you some gym shorts? I don't need any pleas. I'm just, you know, I'm going to be a little surly today. So as long as you know, you know, I'm a little on edge. Okay. Okay. So Dave doesn't have just gym don't shorts. Cross me. I will not cross you. I've seen you angry. You don't. You're like the Hulk, <laughs> and you're also wearing green, so that's probably foreshadowing. But uh, Penn State Northwestern, the rain looks like it's gonna not, it's gonna hold off, Dave, which is good news for Joe Hermit. And the weather's actually pretty nice, so. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> what do you mean by, are you gonna turn into Nathan Thurm? I've got a little Bo Pelini in me today, okay? <laughs> I'm just telling you, all right? Uh, yeah, what are you, trying to set me up so I give I'm him a bad to, forecast, I'm trying, the old joke? Is I'm that what trying, it is? Huh? I'm trying to. Yeah, because we have a tradition of, of me giving Joe bad forecasts. <laughs> right, Joe? No comment. What are you looking at? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, Clayton Thorson is the guy I'm thinking about here. I think he, um, we pretty much know what, what Trace McSorley is. We know who he is. Thorson is a little bipolar, kind of like me right now. Um, he, he, he has had very good games. He had a great game in the, uh, in the pinstripe bowl against Pitt. Right. Um, he played fairly well at the end of last season, but this year against the only two good opponents they've had, he's gone in the tank. He was and he hasn't gotten any any support really. He didn't get any support against Duke uh, from the running game, and he didn't get any support from his offensive line against Wisconsin. Got sacked eight times, and he's just about as mobile as uh, that ottoman in your uh, living room. So he's no Max it. Brown. No, well, <laughs> <laughs> he is Max Brown. He's got a lot of Max Brown in him, but he was highly recruited like Max Brown too. Yeah. Also interesting to note that. Uh, Justin Jackson, who two years ago had a huge game against Penn State and led the Big Ten in rushing last year, it's just been, you know, four yards a carry. I think he's got like 270 yards in four games. Just not really the weapon, I think, that I thought he'd be a little bit further established. He's a little, dang, he's a little dinged up, man. He got a bad ankle. Yep. And uh, he only had, I think he's seven carries for, nine carries for 26 yards mm -hmm. last week. Uh, they actually have uh, Barry Larkin's nephew in the bullpen to come in for him, who had more yards last week against Wisconsin. Is that too much noise up there? Should I shut it? All right, I'll shut it. Uh, Except I can't, because Joe's got the child block on it or something. Oh, it's appropriate. So I have one football question for you and one non-football question for you. What do you make of people that are still picking at Trace McSorley's game? I hear about it every day. They wish he could be a little bit better. And you look at the numbers, Franklin had a bunch of numbers for people at the press conference. At some point, I think people have to realize that this kid was not a five-star recruit, and he's not, you know, the prototype college or NFL quarterback. I, I, I think it all comes down to one thing. He needs clean air to throw in because yeah. he's 5'11 and three quarters, and he's not getting that right now. Defenses know it. That is, has been constructed by defensive coordinators. They're getting in his face. Right. And that's what Joe Moorhead needs to do. He needs to figure out a way to get him out in the open, Get him, get him in a place where he can see downfield and throw. Last year, he would step up in the pocket. There was nobody there. This year, he steps up in the pocket. There's a guy in his face. There's somebody spying him, the middle linebacker, maybe a safety. Maybe they're, they're rushing five and six commonly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not as easy a year as, as it was last year because people know him, and that, that's true with any rookie quarterback. You don't know what you're dealing with until they got tape on you. When they got tape on you, mm -hmm. then they can play a little tougher. He's... He's playing fine. He's yeah. doing the best he can with with what's going on, and the offensive line hasn't yeah. been all that great. And he's doing about what yeah. you would expect, right? Yeah, having Is that, I that mean, how you feel? Yeah, having everything you said. Because don't argue with me right now, right? Everything you said is. Is, is probably right, Dave, but my point is, <laughs> what is what, my just stop the tape my, right now. Is that tape or what is it? My, my point is the guy is leading the Big I, Ten in passing. Ought. He's got 12 touchdown passes. Uh, I think only a couple interceptions, and I just I, I don't really understand what Penn State fans really want from him. But I'll quit being a homer, Bob. Come on. I've always been a homer. I will remain a homer. <laughs> One non-football question to wrap this up. Yes. Mustard's last stand, Dave. Oh, Must yeah. Mustard's last That's stand. something to look forward to. At here. Northwestern. Yeah. You've been there. 
tell the fans what the experience is like and what's on the menu. It's like being caught in a trailer with like 20 other people. You really don't want to be around, and yeah. yet it's like the greatest junk food at any stadium there is. Uh, terrific sausage sandwiches. You're cramped in there. Mm -hmm. You're you're kind of being yelled at by the guy behind the counter. Right. Um, it's like a suburban Billy Goat Tavern. It is, except much more cramped. <laughs> um, but it's actually nice on cold days. I don't know what it's going to be like today. Yeah. So that's it's a, it's a it's one of the great it's, it's food terrific, stands in the yeah. Big Ten. Terrific. It's in the parking lot at Ryan Field in the corner, and it's a mob scene because the food's really good. It's uh, those are my favorite sausage sandwiches. In a lot of places, you don't. Like, we don't go to Purdue thinking, oh, boy, the food at Purdue. Well, you don't think about, oh, boy, anything at Purdue. But nothing against West Lafayette. Everything against West Lafayette. But the, the, um, the Mustard's Last Stand, um, the different kinds of sandwiches and stuff they have in there are great. Plus, it's right next to the stadium. And, you know, it's crowded. But it, that's why it's crowded. It's I, crowded recommend, I recommend you get the Bo Pelini <clears throat> at Mustard's Last Stand. Since What's you're that, in that supposed kind of, to mean? Since you're in that kind of mood. <laughs> what are you looking at? It's the hot sausage. <laughs> anyway, until after the game from Ryan Field. Ride along. Adios.